During World War I, the Royal Navy and the Merchant Navy were suffering greatly at the hands of German U-boats. Many ideas were put forward as to how to make ships less detectable, including covering them with mirrors, covering them with tarpaulins to make them look like clouds, and even planting trees on board to make them appear as small islands. However, these ideas had little success. Enter Norman Wilkinson. Wilkinson's idea of covering ships in vibrantly colored swirling patterns may appear counterintuitive, but there was a method in his madness. In order for a U-boat to successfully torpedo a vessel, it had to fire a torpedo from at least 300 meters away, and usually the distance was much greater. To ensure a successful strike, the U-boat shooter would have to calculate where the ship would be when the torpedo had traveled the intervening distance. The new paint job made quickly calculating the ship's bearing almost impossible. Whether or not this actually worked in the field is somewhat questionable. However, two important factors indicate its success. Insurance companies believed it worked and lowered the premiums on dazzled vessels, and the morale of crews on dazzled vessels was much higher.